Cloud Code is amazing not only for senior software engineers, but also for those who have very limited or almost none of the developer experience. And today you will learn how to build a project end to end starting from scratch in under 20 minutes. I've been using Cloud Code for over a month now, not just for tutorials, but for our internal projects such as content generation tools to help us grow on social media, as well as tools to help us run agent engineering bootcamp. By the way, if you want to join the next cohort, which starts in September, just join the waitlist down below. I'm Mary Nova, and since ChatGPT came out, I've been building projects and sharing everything about AI engineering on LinkedIn to over 100,000 people and 30,000 newsletter subscribers. If you want to be part of this growing community, subscribe to our newsletter with the link down below. Today, we're going to cover three main things that has to do with Cloud Code. Number one, I'm going to show you how to set up Cloud Code inside your terminal. Number two, I'm going to show you how to plan a completely new project from scratch using Cloud Code. And number three, I'm going to show you how to create custom built commands as well as exploring the built in commands from Cloud Code. Now, let's get started. First things first, you need to go to Anthropic's documentation and you will find the setup Cloud uh, command over here. You just copy and paste this to your terminal. Now that we installed Cloud, let's just type Cloud and this will prompt the onboarding. So it will first ask you what kind of mode you want to choose. So let's just go with dark mode. After that, you have an option to go with either your account, pro account, if you're paying on a subscription base, and you can also choose an API based billing. So for me, I just, I'm going to go with the first one. And after that, it will authorize you on the browser. You just have to click authorize and you're good to go so go back to your terminal and this will uh log you inside your account it will also ask you what kind of setup that you want the default setting is recommended so we're just going to go there and here you just uh it's asking if you want to trust the files in this folder to clock code you just say yes and proceed and you're good to go now we're ready to play now, if you notice, once we're inside Cloud Code, it will ask you to run slash init to create cloud.md file. And I'm going to explain later on what cloud.md file does. But what if we don't have any project to work with? That's why I really like to use the plan mode. And in order to get it, you just press shift tab and you will find the plan mode here. And this is where you can tell what you want to create and it will basically create it from scratch. So we're in the right folder. It's an empty folder. So I already have a prompt ready for our project. And today we're going to build a simple Python CLI tool that's going to help us generate any AI agent project ideas. We want this to ask the user and the terminal to input their skills, interests, and goals and send these inputs to an LM so that it can generate three project ideas. They will have the name, the problem, and the architecture summary. So let's see what Claude will do. Let's pass this on. And as you can see, it's already using up this many tokens. I love how it's like generating it live. So once it's done, it actually makes this like nice report. And you just need to go through it and decide whether you want to approve it or continue working on it. So let's see, it's telling us we'll create this folder with the following files. So far, it looks good. The core components is the CLI interface where we're going to prompt the user for these inputs. And then we're going to have the LM integration where we can choose which model we want to work with. It wants me to use two. So in order to change this, see, so you can continue planning. Say, I only want one API provider. Let's say it's just OpenAI. And this will change the plan accordingly. So now it has an updated plan. Instead of two, it has only one. Let's just go with it and see what it does. <clears throat> There's also an option to go YOLO mode when you don't have, when you don't want clock code always be asking you to proceed. You just allow it to do everything, but I prefer it to ask. So right now it's just saying, okay, let, let's create the freaking folder first. I'm like, sure, let's do it. It's writing the requirements TXT file. You can see it right here. It's generating as we speak. It's awesome. Here's the config. Also has our .nv file and now it wrote the prompt. Let's check our prompt. Your AI product strategies based on the user profile generate exactly three unique AI project ideas. Then it even gave the example format. So far, it looks good. Awesome. And it even created a readme file. Beautiful. Now, as you can see, that's why engineering teams are over. We don't need no more engineers. We just need technical product managers. Kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so 
is now complete. Amazing. Next thing that we need to do in order to run this, we need to install our requirement txt file, and then we have to copy to the .nv to add our API keys and run the tool. Awesome. Now, another thing I like to do is to put clock code on the separate window up here so that I have another terminal view so that I can run uh, by myself, run these files by myself. So I already installed the virtual environment and uh, installed all the packages. And now we can run our application. Awesome. See, you see how it's prompting the first question, which is what are your technical skills? Let's just put Python. What are your interests or domains you're passionate about? And I think I'm just going to put education. And what are your goals or what do you want to achieve? I want to say I want to automate my educational content creation or workflows to save time and be more efficient. Now it's calling OpenAI API keys and it is generating our three ideas. Great. Now take a look at the ideas. It's telling me you can create an Edoflow automator, streamlines and automates the process. It gives the architecture and it gives a tech stack. I really like the UI here actually. And uh, it also gives the two other ideas. Now let's go back to clock code. Remember how in the beginning it asks you to uh, start this forward slash command in it. And what it does is it creates CloudMD file, which is basically like a memory and a brain for coding agent, specifically clock code in this case. And uh, if we do this now that because we have a project, we can run this command and it will create a cloud.md file based on the project. As you can see, it has generated the cloudmd file. It has everything from the project structure, the core architecture, to the key design patterns, which is very elaborate. And uh, the commands that you can use to use this application, as well as the dependencies and the implementation details. So let's just create this. And it's going to be saved in your project directory. Now, remember that uh, Cloud Code does not have a way to go back to the previous checkpoint. There's no such feature, unfortunately. And that's why the only workaround for this is using git commits. So if you've made changes, just make sure to commit very often. And this is how you can do it here with the cursor ID. And if you don't like the changes, you can simply revert back and it will remove the changes. So if you want to see what kind of model you're using, you just type forward slash command model, and it will show you what kind of uh, model you have access to. So I'm using Claude Pro uh, version, and it has access to Sonnet 4. But if you have Max, then you can also use Opus 4. Another cool feature that not that many people know is taking screenshots is available on Cloud Code. And in order to do so, you just need to press Command Control Shift 4 and take your screenshot like so and press instead of Command V, just press Control V and you will see it inside Cloud Code. Now, how do you reference files inside your terminal window with Cloud? So there are two ways to do it. The first one, you just uh, type this sign at and type your file name and you'll be able to select this like so. And the other way to do it is simply dragging it by clicking on your file and putting it into your terminal window like so. Now, another reason why Claude Code stands out from all the other coding agents, including Cursor, is that you can program your own custom commands. So there are two types of them. One of them is the personal command, which is uh, located inside your root directory. So whenever you're working with Claude Code, you can call these commands. And another type is project-based commands. This is uh, only used when you are inside a particular project that you're working in, and you can see it under the project description. So we're going to make one custom command. And let's copy this and paste this inside our terminal. This will create our folder, which is right now empty. Let's create our first command. And what I want this to do is I already have prepared. I want this command to write my own commit messages based on what type of changes I've made. So as you can see, it will first ask you what kind of changes I made. And based on that, it will 
choose the prefix from the list below and it will ask you to describe the changes. So after it does it, it will write and commit as well as push your code to GitHub. So let's try this out. So before we try this out, we actually need to make some changes. Uh, I noticed for some reason my Claude MD file is missing. So let's create that by typing in it. Okay, now that it has created a Claude MD file, we can use our commit custom command. Now that we have created this custom command, we can use it in our Claude terminal and we just simply type the name of the command, which is commit push. And uh, let's run this and see what Claude does. So now Claude sees that we have added a Claude.md file and it's asking if we can stage it. And look at how it's also picking up on what kind of changes did you make, just exactly what we spec specified in our MD file. So we just say we just updated, we updated the, uh, no, we, we didn't update, we created uh, documentation for Claude agent uh, with, a new Claude MD file. Let's see if it it wants me to <laughs> describe. So you can you can update this if you don't want <laughs> if you want to be do if you want to be this elaborate. But uh, let's just say we just built let's, uh, we just created a new file. You can always change this. And uh, if you want others to access your uh, custom commands, then you can also push it to GitHub. Awesome. So it says it created a git commit message for us, which is docs at cloud and documentation for cloud code agent. And uh, we just proceed with this. Awesome. It has committed and pushed all the changes upstream to my remote GitHub repo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was my first official YouTube tutorial. And if you have any other tips and tricks on how to use Claw Code, please comment below and follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram where I post about AI engineering and specifically these days, agent engineering. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Bye.